Amnesty International South Africa has called on government to open its doors to refugees from Afghanistan fleeing uncertainty following the Taliban takeover. This comes after the Department of International Relations said it was unable to accommodate a request to host the Afghan refugees who have sought refuge in Pakistan en route to their final destination. Thousands of Afghans have fled their ravaged country after the Taliban seized power almost a month ago. For more on this, I'm joined by Executive Director at Amnesty International South Africa, Ms. Shanila Mohammed. Good to have you with us this afternoon, Ms. Mohammed. Uh, talk to us about what you say is South Africa's international obligation to house the Afghan refugees. Good afternoon, Tammy, and good afternoon to your viewers. Look, Tammy, you know, uh, the situation in Afghanistan is still very dire, as you've said, and Amnesty International keeps on getting telephone calls and, and urgent requests from people uh, who are desperate to get out. And these are human rights activists. These are uh, women. These are people who worked with the former government uh, who, know, who believe that their lives are under threat. We've also documented, along with Human Rights Watch, uh, cases of reprisals against uh, certain people. So we know that despite what the Taliban is saying, the situation on the ground is very different. So when it comes to South Africa and its international obligations, I mean, South Africa, along with other countries, many other countries in the in international community, has uh, signed up to uh, many declarations, one of which is to provide protection for those whose lives are in danger. And I think that, you know, South Africa really um, should uh, step up and open its doors because the people that are seeking refuge are not people that are economic migrants. They are genuinely asylum seekers fleeing from a situation which is life and death for many of them. Um, and, you know, South Africa under international law um, is, uh, is, is uh, required to assist those in need. And I think uh, that is on the, on the basis on which we are appealing to South Africa to please, uh, you know, open its doors and take in some of these Afghan, Afghan refugees because they are genuinely in need. And, and what would the nature of this intervention be? Would it be a, a temporary measure while the refugees are en route to their final destination? Or, or could those refugees, according to your request, also uh, be domiciled or make their home in South Africa? Well, you know, what, whichever uh, uh, either would, I think, at this point in time uh, would work. But, you know, as Amnesty International, we, we really don't support the temporary measure approach because we feel that, you know, these are people who are already uh, under a huge amount of, of distress. But, you know, should a country say that, you know, they can't take them in uh, on a permanent basis, then, uh, you know, we would uh, sort of uh, then say, OK, you know, let them come in, let them escape danger and then maybe South Africa can negotiate with other countries that would be willing to take them in and you know one of the arguments that keeps on getting put forward is well South Africa is geographically so far away what about the countries around Afghanistan well you know the countries around Afghanistan have been taking in refugees in the millions I mean Pakistan has reported three million that they have taken in they just don't have the capacity anymore and uh, you know which is why other countries are being reached out to for assistance and South Africa is one of those countries um, and you know we know that uh, the South African government has also claimed that you know the reason they're not taking in uh, refugees from Afghanistan is because they are housing many refugees from Africa now we know that that is not uh, totally accurate if you look at the refugees that are coming in from Africa South Africa certainly does not have the highest amount I mean you know if you look at Uganda they have about 1.4 million uh, you know refugees and and, you know, other countries uh, like Ethiopia have similar amounts. In South Africa, you know, the only numbers that we can find are around 78,000. Um, but also, you should also know, Tammy, that of the of the people that come in and seek asylum in this country, only 3% ever get it. 97% are rejected. So it's actually not true when South Africa says that they are housing a huge amount of refugees from Africa because they're not. And, uh, you know, if 97% of those people are rejected, which is worrying for us as well as Amnesty, uh, you know, because we know that they're genuine asylum seekers from Africa coming in, then, you know, what it means is that what South Africa is putting forward as an excuse not to house Afghan refugees is actually not true. So what next now for Amnesty International now that Durko has said this is not a possibility? 
Well, you know, uh, Tammy, we can't force governments uh, to do the right thing. Uh, what we can do is appeal to them because, you know, uh, again, you know, many, many South Africans were in a similar state during the apartheid era, not as bad, uh, you know, as, as what's going on, uh, or, or maybe one can't, you know, not, not in, the, in the numbers that we see leaving uh, from, uh, from Afghanistan at this point, but, you know, countries took them in, countries gave them safe havens, and, you know, what we are doing is appealing to South Africa to, to do the same, you know, whether it's African refugees or whether it's refugees from Afghanistan. But, you know, in, in 2019, we released a report where we, where we, where we uh, um, studied the asylum system. And, you know, from our perspective, the asylum system in South Africa is broken. I mean, the, the processing of refugees does not happen in the way that it should. So South Africa really does need to step up, step up to its international, uh, you know, in a way, um, responsibilities. Uh, around asylum seekers and refugees because at the moment it's failing dism dismally. Ms. Shanila Mohammed, thank you very much uh, for your time uh, this afternoon.